YouTube channel today is Monday March 23rd and today I'm going to be filming a keto what I eat in a day video slash vlog so I hope that y'all enjoyed my morning routine kind of that I shared at the beginning of this video I get up try and get all my like pet chores out of the way get everyone fed get our meds done and then I get ready and actually start the day so I really don't know what we're gonna get into today. We can't leave the house, but I'm sure we'll find something fun to do. So let's go ahead and get today started. Woo! I swear we have the laziest cats. There's a perfectly good kitty door right there, but they just sit here and wait for someone to open the door and let them go out. <laughs> For my first meal of the day today, I'm just gonna do a really simple egg scramble with a couple of things we have in our fridge and freezer right now. So first off, I'm adding in about a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter to melt in the bottom of the pan. Now that the butter's melted, I have a sausage link that my dad grilled the other night. I sliced it up and I'm gonna throw it into the bottom of the pan to start heating up along with a handful of some of these frozen veggies that we have in our freezer. The veggies and sausage are cooked, so now I'm gonna go ahead and crack in three eggs. And I'm gonna give them a little scramble just because that's how I like my eggs. My egg is cooked, so the final step is I'm adding just a little bit of shredded cheese over the top because cheese just makes everything better, right? I'm just gonna let that melt and breakfast will be done. Just look at this. Doesn't that look so, so good? I love just throwing together what we have in the fridge and making a little egg scramble out of it. It always turns out so delicious. I'm gonna plop this on a plate and devour it. Cooper, what you doing perched up on the diving board with Odie? What you doing, pepperoni? Are y'all just keeping watch over the backyard? I guess so. Mother set up a hand washing station outside the back door, so anytime we come in the gate, if we left the house for any reason, we have to stop here and wash our hands. And there's soap, there's a towel to dry your hands on, but you must wash your hands every time you get back home. 
What's up, Finn and Barney? What y'all up to? Y'all just hanging out in the driveway, chilling? Yeah. What you doing, Barn? Hey, sweet boy. Everyone just wants some loving and some attention. Ain't that right, Kit Kat? Since I had a pretty late breakfast this morning, I figure instead of doing lunch, I'm just gonna have a snack before we grill some fish for dinner tonight. So, I have this Carb Master yogurt and one of these Perfect Keto Cinnamon Roll Keto Bars. These bars are awesome. I've been eating them nearly every day because they're just such an easy grab and go snack and they taste so, so good. And it's got 220 calories, 17 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, but with nine of those coming from fiber, that means a total of three net carbs and 11 grams of protein. But yeah, this is going to be my snack. I will link these down below in the description, so check them out if you're interested. I might have a discount code. I will put that on the screen now if I do have a discount code. But yeah, there is my snack. So some yogurt and a protein bar. The other day we planted some veggie plants. Well, we went ahead and added a couple more to our little container garden. So we got a couple more tomatoes. We have a zucchini, a cucumber, a yellow squash, and then somewhere I think over here is a Mexican squash. Cody and I absolutely love these. This is not the healthiest looking plant, but hopefully we can bring him back and he'll produce us some good old things. My mom got some mint. What else did we get? I don't know. There's all kinds of things in here and I'm so excited. I cannot wait for them to start producing because it is going to be the best thing ever to have grown our own veggies and get to cook with them. For dinner tonight, we are doing some redfish on the half shell. What that means, it's basically still got the scales and skin on one side of the fish and you just grill it skin side down. But we caught these redfish yesterday when we went fishing, so fresh ocean to plate meal tonight. Ooh, this still has a little bit of bone right there, so we need to cut that out. But yeah, we're gonna cook us up some fish on the grill. Basically what we're gonna do to the fish is my mom is currently over here slicing up some butter in thin slices. And then we are going to throw on some of this Slap Your Mama seasoning. And we're basically going to put all the fillets in aluminum foil, kind of fold it up into a tent and pop it onto the grill for about 30 minutes or so until the fish is white and nice and flaky, which means it's cooked all the way through. We got the redfish all wrapped up in aluminum foil and it's just gonna go in there on the grill for Roughly 30-ish minutes or so. We want the grill at what, like 350, Cody? Yeah. And just gonna let it sit there and cook. Nice and simple. Ta-da! Here you go. Say hi! Hey, y'all! <laughs> Look at Bo, he's desperately wanting some oh, fish. Geez. What'd you say, Cody? Uh, the socks, please. Cody wants y'all to admire his donut socks. That's right. Super cute. That's right. Oh my golly. Back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I want something other than just plain water. So I picked up some of these crystal light liquids at the grocery store and I just squeeze a little squirt into my water and now I have strawberry lemonade. And I'm it's gonna very... squeeze a little squirt. I'm Cut it. Squeeze a little squirt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then I have a little bit of strawberry lemonade. If I had an extra hand, I would squeeze him too. Don't listen to him. As a side to go with the fish, we're just going to boil some broccoli. So just threw a bag of frozen broccoli in some water, added some butter, we'll add a little bit of salt, and just let that boil until it's soft. Such a quick and easy veggie because we like mushy broccoli. It's been about 30 minutes, so we're opening up the fish and checking to see how it's coming along. 
It's looking pretty good. It is looking good, but I think it needs a little bit more time. This is the thickest filet of them all. All right, the redfish is off the grill and it smells amazing. I wish y'all could smell this through the screen because it smells so good. My mom cooked up some yellow rice to go with the fish and here is the broccoli I boiled. So I'm about to fix myself up a plate because wow, this smells so good. Why are you taking pictures while I video, sir? Because my social media is way more important than yours. <laughs> my Lord. All right, time to fix me up a plate. Hey guys, so it is actually the next evening now. I kind of forgot to pick up my camera after we ate dinner last night, but oh my golly, our dinner was fabulous. That fish, the way we cooked it was so simple, yet it tasted so, so good. So we thoroughly enjoyed that meal. But before I close out this video, I thought I would give y'all a little bit of an update with what is going on in our life. So today is Tuesday. Tomorrow morning we are driving to Mobile, Alabama where we are loading up all of our stuff and hauling it back to Texas. So in the middle of a pandemic is not the ideal time to be moving in any way, shape, or form, but it has to be done. We're just taking all the extra safety precautions to make sure that we're staying safe, not meeting anyone but immediate family where we're loading our stuff, and then we're getting back as soon as possible. So the next couple of days are going to be an absolute whirlwind, but we get to move into our house on Saturday, so I am so, so, so excited. Like, you have no idea. I cannot wait to give y'all a tour, tell you some of my ideas, because we went and saw the house today, talked to the owner. She's a great friend of ours, and this is like a dream come true, y'all. I'm so excited to share it with y'all, and I'll do it once we can actually get into the house and show you, which is in just a couple of days. But yeah, so many exciting things are going on. So stay tuned for that, y'all, because I'm about to bring some really exciting things to my channel. So stay tuned for that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again very, very soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.